Hi, welcome to this session of zero voltage sensing circuit from the normal supply so as to be used for zero voltage reference to the microcontrol based circuits or many other circuits. We have a alternator here or a AC supply and then we have a transformer which is 220 to 12 volt. We have a bridge rectifier and we know the bridge rectifier gives me here pulsating DC. And the pulsating DC is through a potential divider arrangement is stepped down to, set to, a, to a voltage which is fed to the inverting terminal of the a comparator formed out of LM358. And we also have a diode which is forward by this is the positive supply which is coming after the and we also have a, after the bridge rectifier we have put a blocking diode and the blocking diode after that we have only filtered the through a filter capacitor to DC. We have explained the purpose of this blocking diode is just to get the pulsating DC here that is our requirement and then here we get the pure DC and that DC is further given to a 7805 for getting 5 volt for some other purpose wherever we require for microcontrol for any other circuit. And this 12 volt is now given to the IC also and uh, what we do is when we power this we will see as per the formula that when the plus is more than minus output is equal to 1. This we have discussed in our comparator circuits. Now let's see how it works. Now this is forward biased diode and given to plus. That means this is plus. And this pulsating DC is given to minus. That means from here to here this, this being plus is more than the minus. So output is equal to 1. So when the plus is more than minus, output is equal to 1. Uh, we are deliberately speaking this as plus and minus instead of calling it as non-inverting uh, and non-inverting for ease of understanding. And the output, we have also made a potential divider, the output so that the, the scale is about 2 volts. So we get about 4 volts here. We have made one more potential divider here because we have to feed it to microcontroller and microcontroller will not get, uh, will not tolerate more than uh, 5 volts. So though we get around 8 volts here with a potential divider arrangement we are giving 4 volts to the microcontroller. So this is how and since it happens very near to the zero we call it zero cross reference. And this is used for subsequent circuits which will be explained later.